Hey guys, so let's look at the mineral called selenium and why it's key for anti-aging and overall better health. And you'll want to know this data because, you know, getting sufficient amounts of selenium can mean the difference between great health on the one hand and disease on the other, and maybe even play a big role in how long you live. So selenium is one of the 10 essential trace minerals. This means that your body relies on it and you only need a small amount, but it also means that your body doesn't make this mineral. You know, so you must get it through the food you eat or a supplement. Now, selenium is probably best known for its role as an antioxidant, you know, and its ability to fight cancer. Now, here's how that works. Oxygen is essential to your survival, of course, but the problem is that when you take in oxygen, it reacts with and oxidizes other molecules. You know, this changes their structure and creates oxidants, you know, which are commonly referred to as free radicals, although you, you cannot always you know, use those two terms interchangeably. Now, the point is excessive free radical production you know, destroys the tissues and cells in your body you know, and are often what causes the undesirable effects that we call aging. Now, crazy as that sounds, it happens in part because you're breathing oxygen. The good news is that an antioxidant like selenium fights these free radicals, you know, to protect your body from the damage. You know, it's also needed to produce selenoproteins like, you know, glutathione peroxidase, you know, which is an enzyme that destroys free radicals. Selenium is so important that it's found in all the tissues of your body and it works to reduce the signs of aging. You know, it does this by preventing the oxidation of fatty tissue. You know, this gives you better skin elasticity, improved uh, muscle mass and muscle tone, you know, and, and it even strengthens your most important muscle, which is, of course, your heart. Now, in terms of the link between selenium and cancer, as early as 1969, research showed that a selenium deficiency was related to the development of cancer. And several animal experiments have shown that selenium is actually protective against cancer. You know, and what they showed was that tumor cells grow in the absence of selenium and they shrink once sufficient amounts of selenium was introduced. That's something to take note of in terms of selenium. Now, you'll find selenium in certain foods, of course, and like, you know, other minerals, selenium is also found in the soil, you know, but the amount in the soil varies you know, in different regions around the world. And interestingly enough, it's been discovered that in the parts of the world where the soil is rich in selenium, the risk of cancer in that population is actually lower. In addition, you know, to its amazing anti-aging and anti-cancer properties, selenium also keeps you healthy by fighting viruses. In fact, it is so powerful in reducing viral replication you know, and boosting immunity that scientists who study HIV have reported that selenium supplementation is a valid way to assist the primary treatment of HIV. Now, selenium is also responsible for regulating hormone production in your thyroid. And this is super important because your body relies on these hormones to control things like sleep and energy, appetite, your weight, and digestion, uh, muscle control, you know, how your brain functions, and the health of your bones. Now, autoimmune thyroid disorders like Hashimoto's and Graves disease are often linked to a selenium deficiency. Now, selenium also reduces inflammation. You know, it aids in infertility, you know, in, in fertility, that is, and helps asthma, you know, and reduces your risk for heart disease. You know, so this mineral is a, it's a big deal. You know, it goes a long way in determining, you know, if you'll be healthy, you know, or not. Now, the most likely reasons you'd be deficient in selenium, you know, are that either you don't eat enough selenium rich foods or the soil in which the foods you're eating are grown, the soil is depleted in selenium. You know, now the most common signs of selenium deficiency include things like, um, well, just getting sick a lot, uh, hair loss, fatigue and muscle weakness, um, infertility in both men and women. Um, yeah, and those are probably the, the, the major signs. 
Um, okay, so to ensure that you get enough selenium, make sure to include these foods in your diet. Uh, uh, Brazil nuts, pasture-raised eggs, um, organ meats, you know, such as liver or heart or kidneys. Um, and you can get selenium from sunflower seeds as well. You know, and also certain seafood like tuna, salmon, uh, herring, and rockfish. Now, although, you know, I just want to make a note here that I, I don't eat too much tuna. I, I pretty much don't eat it at all, just due to the, the fact that modern tuna typically has high levels of mercury, or at least there's a good chance that it does. And that's not good. So selenium is, you know, such an important mineral, you know, that I've included it in my daily supplement formulation called multivitamin and mineral. And you can see all the nutrients in that product by going to bodymanual.com. Um, so it's also helpful to know that selenium and vitamin E, they actually enhance the effect uh, that they both have on one another when they're taken together. You know, so make sure that you take those two nutrients together, either in your food choices you know, or in your supplements. All right, so don't go without selenium. You know, and if you think the foods you eat you know, might be leaving you short, you know, in short supply, be sure that it's in your daily supplements. All right, hope that's been helpful and I'll see you in the next video.